Alright boys and girls, welcome to the rant. I wanted to make a quick little video here of uh, some guns that I picked up in the store. Uh, it was a package in the store with the River Sticks, light machine gun, and a Mott MP5. So I liked it because I like the skin a lot, obviously, being a Reaper myself. Um, you can see the skins here are quite cool uh, with the Reaper on there. Um, now, I'm going to just switch this back for you real quick. This is what I've got right now. So, um, we've got the monolithic integral suppressor barrel, Ranger foregrip, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 30 round mag, no laser, no optic, classic straight line stock to help with stability, rear grip, stipple grip tape, help get you that aim down sight speed without using a laser. Um, now, it's slightly different from the original design because the original design had I believe the collapsible let's go here so that's what it came with there but you see it had that um, that strap across which goes right across the graphic so I wasn't too impressed with that the only site I think that um, removes that was this one um, the straight line which comes just in black but then I already had uh, the cover up in Rampage so either one of those looked alright but the cover might be in black and white seemed to uh, go a little better um, so I found this I prefer the MP7 to the MP5 usually but this was pretty decent build for the MP5 um, I was pretty happy with it it does pretty well you know it's just that 30 round mag compared to a 60 round mag you can have with the MP7 and the fire faster fire rate on the MP7 um, just to me, the MP7 is still the better gun, but uh, this one's pretty good. And if you're an MP5 fan, then uh, I think this is a pretty good build. Um, and if you like this graphic, um, this really works well. So you want to check that out. Now, the second one that came with this set was the River Sticks, and this right here is an M91 light machine gun. Um, and I first got it, I was like, oh, I'm never going to use this because I'm not going to use an M91 machine gun. But it turned out actually to be uh, pretty decent. It's not bad at all. Um, I added the monolithic suppressor. wasn't in the original build. Um, most of the rest of it's the same, I think. Uh, Merc foregrip. Which river sticks, yeah. And then um, 120 round belt, which also came with it. Tack laser was also river sticks, so that came with it. I don't think there was any... Warhead was a different uh, different thing. So it's just the original barrel monolithic suppressor gives you the suppression, a little bit of range. Um, in this case, I had one from another one from Dusk, so I threw that on there. So monolithic suppressor gives you a little bit more range, um, more damage range, and of course keeps you quiet on the map. Um, the Merc underbarrel allows you to get a little bit of hip fire um, accuracy and also helps steady the barrel quite a bit. I found. Um, tack laser helps you with your ADS. The core hound helps you, gives you a little bit range, and uh, being the longer gun of the two in this, so now you're trying to use this as your longer gun since the backup is the MP5. Um, I found uh, the combo halo sight was not bad. That's what they give you um, to begin with. Oh, there we go. The controller is bouncing around a little bit. It's the one that comes with it, so you can just leave that on. So overall, not. Uh, not a bad deal um, not a bad setup these two guns work pretty well together if you run amped as your perk to help get that switch speed so that if you do run out of ammo on one of them you can get a little quicker to the second one the light machine gun is a little slow to switch to but if you have the light machine gun in your hand switching to the MP5 is pretty quick um, and then I'm running overkill obviously to run the two of them and cold blooded you could alternatively if you didn't want to worry about cold blooded um, you could do EOD or double time. Um, I haven't really tried quick fix. A quick fix might actually be uh, might be a, a useful one to run, but I really I need to run some tests on that. But yeah, I would say uh, amped for sure, and then uh, cold blood is my go-to anyways. Uh, but if not cold blooded, either EOD or double time. Um, with all the rockets going around, EOD might be a good choice these days. But uh, yeah, there you go. So. Um, 
There you go. Another quick look there. The MP5 monolithic universal suppressor, classic straight line stock, stipple grip tape for the rear grip, 10 millimeter auto 30 round mags, Ranger 4 grip, and that's it. That's your Mott right there. And then uh, again, your M91 monolithic suppressor, tack laser, core combat hollow sight, 120 round belt fed, Merc 4 grip, and there you go, guys. That is the Reaper collection right there. Um, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, post the comments if you do try it out, if you do buy this setup, or if you just use the attachments even if you don't get the same skins. Let us know what you think. How does it stack up against your other guns? And uh, let us know what you think. Are you an MP5 guy or an MP7 guy or girl? Let us know. Let us know. Thanks.